Please adhere to YouTube selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behavior shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professional. You guys saw me do the worst dab pens that I tried this year. Well, we're getting into the good ones. Now, inside of this specific video, I'm only going to be mentioning the ones that I really, really loved and that I would go back and get whenever I'm in the mood for a cart or a dispo, okay? If it's not on this list, chances are that it just didn't make the cut, all right? It just wasn't good enough this year, all right, ladies and gentlemen? So enough with the talking. Let's go ahead and hop straight into it because we got a long list of freaking carts and disposables that I'm really interested in showing you guys all in one video, right? So some of the carts, I already had them on me because I got them recently, but the other ones, I actually had to go to the dispo. You already know the deal. I had to go pick up some of them because I didn't have them, and I was like, you know what? It's been a while since I've had them, so let me just go ahead and take a quick drive. And I did this all on um, Christmas Eve, right? In the morning, I already went to church, went out to eat with the family, came back, and they're actually taking a nap, so I was like, you know what? what perfect timing nothing better to do so let me just go ahead and shoot this banger for you guys right so I drove to the dispo came back and then I was able to get everything that I actually needed and wanted it plus a little bit more we got a little bit of something that I'm gonna show you guys in this video I'm gonna tell you guys why each and single of the carts that I'm gonna be showing you is worth it for its specific category because some of them are gonna be solventless some of them are gonna be like I don't know if I have any disty in here I know for sure most of them are just solventless but without Without further ado, let's go ahead and hop straight into it. Now, it's hard to choose what's going to be my number one, but I think my number one that we're going to start off with, because this is a most recent one that I haven't tried in a long time, and I tried it this year, and I was completely blown away by the whole new lineup that they had, the new battery systems, and not only that, but the price points, all right? So with a lot of these cards, they do tend to be a little bit more on the pricier side, but this company just blew it out of the ballpark. They really knocked it out on every single level in terms of cleanliness, potency, flavors, and the battery systems, everything, everything. They just completely killed it, right? So that brand is going to be bum, ba, da, dum, superb, okay, ladies and gentlemen? So I did the review on them recently. If you haven't watched that, go ahead and watch that. It's one of my favorite, if not my favorite one of this year, and we're going to go ahead and break down why, right? So I this is my second solventless cart that I have from them and I'm already like I blew through the first one I'm on the second one and then I've also been using their diamonds they have VVS diamonds and they have regular disty they have solventless and honestly I was blown away by every single one of their products that they had but the one that blew me away the most was gonna be number one their VVS diamonds which I actually have right here. Let me go ahead and grab this out of my case, all right? So the VVS Diamonds, it has like a very distinct look to it. You already know, well, at least I would know. Like if you were to give me their Disty lineup, their Diamond lineup, and then their Solventless lineup, I would be able to tell all three which is which right off just looking at it, all right? So I got that one right here, and I really, really like the VVS Diamond. It's definitely more on the heavier side, clean tasting, and it's just a ripper. But the one that really blew it out of the water for me was going to be their solventless one. Their solventless one, bro, if you guys can get your hands on a fresh batch of their solventless carts, it's it's unfathomable how amazing they are. Like literally, it's damn near like a 710 laps pod on steroids because not only can you freaking adjust the airflow with these tanks, right? Yeah, you can adjust the airflow on these tanks, but you can also adjust the variable wattage, right? All in one battery, you don't have to go out there and buy a separate battery. It's the, it's all in one system, right? So this right here, you could go ahead and switch it between, I believe it's like five different um, voltages, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, five of them, and they all rip, right? I've been using it at a low 2.9 to get the flavor, but whenever I just wanna get completely smacked, I'll use it like at a good 3.0, 3.1, and it just completely annihilates me, right? So the first one that we're gonna be introducing is gonna be the Superb. Let me go ahead and show you guys, like you guys already seen the tanks, the tanks are amazing, they have the airflow, they're amazing, but this battery right here is the more amazing part, right? This battery, definitely if you guys are gonna be using like a freaking Superb car, or even any car, not only can you use Superb carts on this, but you can use any 510 thread, and this battery right here will just make it like hit crazy, right? But I do recommend just going with the Superb cart because they hit very, very 
very heavy, okay? So let's go ahead and rip this and then we'll get into number two. Flavorful super tasty, smooth, and honestly, it's definitely a go-to for me from now on. You guys are definitely gonna be seeing a lot more flavor reviews from them, right? So I'm kind of debating, should I get, get into the ones that I already have right here on hand, or should I break into the bag, right? I think I'm gonna go ahead and break into the bag. So, I did end up getting some Trilogy 710. This is a reserve lineup for their rosin, but I'm not gonna go ahead and show you guys that. If you guys wanna see what that flavor is, just turn on the post notification bells, subscribe to the channel, because we got reviews coming all week long, right? So we got two things in here. Now, the second one that we're going to be putting on this list of best carts and dispos of this year is going to be number two, which I believe you guys already know it's going to be a given. It's going to be the 710 Labs Pods. Now, unfortunately, like Superb, Superb offers a really good price point for all of their lineups, but when it comes down to 710 Labs, I feel like they lack when it comes down to their freaking pods in terms of pricing because, dude, they can get really really expensive depending on where you go you could either get really like taxed or you could get a discount in some places but either way even with discounts it'll still come out kind of pricey right i believe this half g came out to like i believe it was a total of uh like 55 or something like that for a half g but obviously it is solventless and this right here is the cake crasher garlic cocktail combination it was packaged four months ago which is actually extremely old i thought this was going to be a newer batch but this is a little bit more on the older side it is a tier two and um but either way nonetheless it is a treat whenever i do cop these i don't cop them too often anymore because like i said the price point is pretty ridiculous for what you get but it is a treat every now and then so number two on the list is going to be the 710 labs pods let's go ahead and open this sucker up put it on the battery and take a quick rip and move on to number three luckily i was able to find the battery right away dude but let's go ahead and open this sucker up and inside they give you a little bit of a sticker it says CCR plus GC7 which is obviously cake crasher plus garlic cocktail got the little rubber banding right here on top and without further ado let's slap it on the battery and go in on puff number two great taste you get that cake crasher sweetness with that funkiness from the garlic cocktail the only thing about this is, is like when it comes to solventless products, you can tell if you don't get a fresh batch, they taste a little bit diluted, as I like to say, right? They don't taste as fresh and you don't really get the maximum terps. So in my personal opinion, for the price that you pay for 710 Labs products and sometimes they're not fresh, it's, it really is a hit or miss sometimes, right, ladies and gentlemen? But nonetheless, it deserves to be up here because they have some amazing flavors and when you can get it fresh, it definitely hits like no other. But if I were to go for a solvent list and I'm trying to get my most bang for my budget, I'm definitely gonna be going for the superb because like I said if you get a fresh batch of them They're a whole lot cheaper and they smack just as hard, right? So number two on the list is gonna be the 710 labs pods and in my personal opinion it, They're all great But if you can I would prefer to go for the Percy lineup the Percy lineup is definitely a lot more Flavorful a lot more refined and you could tell that it's like the best batch of oil that you could possibly get from them So before I have another thing that I got inside of that bag, but I'm I'm gonna go ahead and hop into number three, which is gonna be something that a lot of you know but haven't seen maybe yet, and that's gonna be the pine trees. The pine trees is a just straight up cured resin and it has nothing else in it right it doesn't have any terps it's just straight up oil like if you were to press a freaking nug and all that stuff that were coming out then it would just go straight into here but obviously when it comes down to CR it's a completely different extraction method and um, yeah it's still really really thick it hits phenomenally the only downside about it that I've seen a lot of people complain about it is the fact that it is a lot more on the thicker side, right? It is a lot more on the thicker side and you do have to preheat it. But in my personal opinion, it really isn't that bad of a thing, right? So let's go ahead and try the freaking pine trees, which is gonna be number, what was it? Number three on the list, right, ladies and gentlemen? And then we'll break into number four. Clean, smooth, you don't get any irritation that you would usually get from like terp carts. 
and um, honestly, it's easily different from the rest, but still hits just as hard, if not a little bit harder, depending on what flavor you get. And yeah, that right there is gonna be number four, which is gonna be the pine trees, right? Now they have a whole lineup. I love the all of their stuff that they come out with, but in my personal opinion, the CRs are what really like drew me to them the most, right? And speaking of cured resins, it's gonna lead us into number four, which is gonna be, dun, 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 boom, you guys already knew this one right here, which is gonna be Flavorade. Flavorade slash Cold Fire, whatever you really wanna call it, whatever brand you prefer. I mean, I like both, I like Cold Fire, I like Flavorade, they both do similar things, They're the same exact thing. Um, but in my personal opinion, the brand that I've been sticking to the most recently would just be Flavorade because it's the new brand and they've been coming out with straight heat, all right? So Flavorade or Cold Fire, either of those are gonna be some phenomenal brands and they definitely deserve to be on the best carts of this year. Flavorful, thick clouds, you get that super terpy hit. And um, let's go ahead and get straight into number five. Now, I'm gonna show you guys what five is. It's right here behind my hand, right? You guys cannot see it. But before I break into that one, since we do have this one in hand, I think I'm gonna go ahead and knock off the ones that we don't have in hand, but they were obviously, they have to be mentioned because they're just as heat as any of the other ones that we have right here. And that's gonna be number one, Jungle Boys. Now I believe Jungle Boys is like a Disty slash Live Resin like mix, or it might just be straight up Live Resin, I'm not entirely sure, but those cards right there for the budget, they were definitely some of the better ones that I tried this year. Number two heavy hitters brand new rosin carts that they came out this year honestly phenomenal they were really outstanding the papaya that i had from them in the gmo they just smack very very nice and with the proprietary battery it really just makes for a nice clean smooth dab like feeling so right now jungle boys and heavy hitters we don't have those on hand but they're definitely on the list and going to be on number five and six number seven is going to be the rosin tech bar right whether it be from the green or the black lineup but both of them are just phenomenal flavors clean smooth hitting and definitely comparable to like the superb and the 710 labs and then we're so that right there is what in total so we got that number one superb number two 710 labs number three was gonna be what was it yeah number three is gonna be the pine trees number four flavorade yeah, I'm, I feel like I'm missing something. I don't really know. But number five is gonna be the Heavy Hitters, number six, jung uh, Jungle Boys, number seven, Rosin Tech, and that leaves us with number eight, all right? So we got a total of eight different brands that really made it onto this list, and I promise you, if you were to go to any of those brands at any given day, you would not be disappointed with the stuff that they're putting out, right? Maybe 710 Labs a little bit with the price point and stuff like that, but if you get on a deal, it, they're fine. All right, so number eight is gonna be uh, yo. Before I even show you guys number eight, let me know down in the comments below if you could kind of take a guess of what it, the brand's gonna be. But uh, I'm gonna give you guys five seconds, right? Five, four, three, two, one, and boom. All right, this right here, my friends, is gonna be Dab Logic. All right, now originally from Colorado, uh, they came over here to Cali in the past. Like they've been here for a while now, but they've just started making a big roar in the past like two years, I would say, here in California. I know for a fact Colorado, they've been booming. I already know. You guys don't have to tell me, but in California, to be exact, the past two years are probably the first years that they've um, been blowing up. I, I would say honestly. So yeah, Dab Logic. This one that we have here today is gonna be the G Mob. Okay, so let's go ahead and crack this open and um, let's get straight into it. Now I like the fact that they changed the packaging, but it is a little bit harder to break into it. Might have to actually just annihilate the box as per usual. But yeah, I think I'm definitely gonna have to annihilate this box. But like I said, let me know so far what you guys think of this list and let me know down in the comments below also, did I miss out on any brands? I don't really think I did. I'm pretty sure in this video I did not fail to mention any brands at all, right? Every single brand that I mentioned in this video is gonna be a go-to for me. And like I said earlier, on any given day, it's gonna be super, super fire. So let's go, whoa. 
Yo, they changed up this packaging a lot, dude. Like a whole lot. The inside of it, just completely different. This is just packaging, all right, YouTube? So this right here, as you guys can see, holographic sticker, thicker box. But what they changed more is gonna be the actual card itself. So it has more of like a bullet style look to it kind of now. And it's very, it has that same kind of pattern that it has right here in the front of the box. And this right here looks freaking fire. I'm not gonna lie, it looks fire. So we're just gonna go ahead and slap it on here. But number eight, ladies and gentlemen, nonetheless, is gonna be Dab Logic. Yo. Wow. Whoa. That right there tastes even better than the first time I tried a Dab Logic. I'm just trying to see if like they switched up their recipe or what. But this right here is like, wow. Even more fire than the last one that I had. This right here, the G-Mob, super, super fire flavor. And yeah, super excited about this. This definitely deserved to be on the list. So that right there, ladies and gents, was my top eight carts of all time, or this year. And I would say maybe even of all time, right? These brands are pretty consistent. Like I said, if you get them any time of the year, they're gonna be pretty fire. They might be a little bit pricier depending on what kind of brand you choose, but you're not gonna be disappointed, all right? So with that being said, let me know down in the comments below who is your top brand out of the ones that I mentioned here, or what is a brand that I didn't mention that you would have liked to see me review, all right? In the year 2024, we're gonna be reviewing a whole lot more. And not only that, not only are we gonna be reviewing here from Cali, but we're gonna be going to Michigan, Colorado and other places all over the US and maybe even internationally all right ladies and gents so with that being said if you enjoyed the video do me one big favor leave a fat like comment subscribe to this channel turn on the post notification bells right all that cringy YouTube stuff but it helps grow the channel with all that being said I hope all of you guys have a great Christmas I'll catch you guys on the next video